for a long time in my life, I didn't really achieve any goals. Which is partly because I didn't really set any, but I didn't really know how. And also I was kind of scared to set any and then try and achieve them. After learning about this for three years, trying to achieve goals, setting more and achieving a lot more as well. I'm here to talk to you today about how to achieve your goals using the two laws I'm about to show you. The law of attraction, this is the first one, this is the first law. And I'm sure you've probably heard of this law, it's pretty famous, it's, it's all over the place. The law of attraction is the new thought, spiritual belief, that positive or negative thoughts bring positive or ne negative experience into a person's life. Yeah, facts, right? Facts. And then the important brother of the law of attraction, the law of action, all right? This is something that's missed with the law of attraction. Right here, it's like... It just talks about the thought, just the thought of, of changing, just the thought of wanting something better. It doesn't really mention the action, the stuff that it takes to achieve it. And that's what I'm here to talk to you today about, the law of action. I used to think if I just wanted it, it would work. This is me two years ago, very different person. Nah, mate, that's not how it works. You can't just want something and get it. That's just, that's not it. I would do affirmations and goal setting, etc. And it didn't really get me that far. I remember trying to start i discovered a video on affirmations and a law of attraction and getting it all to come to me and i was just like wow fucking got it i'm gonna do this like 10 minute practice every day and then i'm gonna get rich and i'm gonna get a million subscribers and woo, all of that's gonna be crazy uh yeah it didn't get me very far at all and yeah anyway i got back <laughs> kind of um yeah yeah because i was like oh, i'm just gonna do all of these affirmations and i don't really really won't really have to go to the gym i'll hit like i'll hit some sessions of course but i'm just gonna like I'll be fine, like, I'll just kind of get, I'll just gain muscle through, like, the frequency I was vibrating at. I don't really understand my thought pattern back then. Uh, anyway, yeah, and I was just like, fuck this. Got to take matters in my, into our own hands and actually end up achieving where I wanted to go. This is where I started. This is where I'm now, right? That's me now. This took out, like, five days ago. That's the, that's the better pose, I think. This pose doesn't do me as well, but this pose, this, this is a good pose. This is a good pose. Anyway. Yeah, today I'm going to show you how you can do it too. And this, I, I use the example of the gym a lot because it's really easy. I can show physical progress and you can literally see it with pictures. But in all areas of your life, any goals in any, uh, yeah, any, anything in your life, this is how you achieve goals, how you set goals, achieve goals. And yeah, so this is quite by James Clear. It sums up a lot of what we're going to talk about today. You do not rise to the level of your goals. You fall to the level of your systems. This systems... Systems is like another word for action, just taking action. It's like a slightly more deeper version of action. So we don't just have to set goals and think about them. We have to set systems and actually act on them. Today, we will set systems and action. That's the action plan. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you everything you need. Hello, I'm Seth. I'm a creative athlete. I'm 17 years old. I am making videos about how I went from this kid to this kid right here, and then trying to go even further as well. Traveling, doing a little Muay Thai in the future, digital nomad lifestyle, who knows how far we'll go. Got big goals, got big systems put in place as well. But now we're trying to get a big life. I'm trying to make it successful in the world, live a great life without going to university. And I'm documenting the entire process right here on the YouTube channel, giving away loads of free value for you guys. Subscribe and join the journey. Like, comment any questions you've got throughout the video. Today, I'm going to give you a step by step guide to using these two laws in your life these two laws, law of attraction and the law of action. Using them to achieve your goals, setting systems, and then how to live the enhanced life, the above average lifestyle. That's what the main difference between this and this is the above average lifestyle. It's the lifestyle, the daily action, the daily systems that it takes to get there. And that is where I know it will get me to here soon. Step one the law of attraction change your mind all right i'm just going to go through the steps real quick step two is the law of action and then that changes actions step three is the outcome changes outcome simple law of attraction change the mind change action change outcome simple all right it's just like this want systems result that's the process we'll go through today this is what i'm going to show you today how you can go through the, for the from the one process to building systems to get the results everything so step one the law of attraction i believe in a divine plan god's plan greater narrative that kind of thing i don't really know if it's god i don't think it's associated to any religion i just think it's like a bigger plan a bigger thing at play everything happens for reason kind of thing and i think it helps you trust in the bad things that happen the pitfalls when life goes like this all up and down it go it will eventually go back up but having the faith at the bottom of those pits the bottom of the bad things happening the faith they will come take you back up take back up and that they happen for a reason i think it's really important that you kind of believe that you have that faith throughout the bad times you keep going 
and you keep working through them. And whether it's real or not, or whether it's just the belief that makes you keep going, who knows? But eventually you'll end up getting out of them. So I think it's a pretty valuable thing to believe in or to take action for. So use this belief to change your mind. This the book here right here, Outwitting the Devil. Great book. If you haven't read it, go read it. I'm gonna make a video talking about like so much I've learned from this book. But right here it says this quote. That is why the poverty stricken herd themselves into the same communities it explains the old saying misery loves company it also explains why people who begin to succeed in any undertaking find that success multiplies with less effort as time goes on basically means the way you think has an impact in your reality simple like we that's logical we can believe that that's kind of what the law of attraction says this book talks about it in a similar way called the law of hypnotic rhythm which means like uh, doing things kind of every day and whether that, that can be a good thing or a bad thing, but it's the rhythm, it's the flow, the systems that carry that. Use this belief to change into an abundant mindset. Believe the, these things are coming to you. Your goals, the things that you want are coming to you, right? This is the first step. This is the law of attraction. This is this is the thing. This is where I was caught up. This is where I stopped. But it's a very important part of achieving your goals. Good attracts good. Bad attracts bad. Very simple. Think and be open to achieving and getting the things that you want to achieve also like a, a non-scarcity mindset so there's like enough for everyone so if someone else wins you're not losing don't think like that like it'll get you into a lot of problems because every time you see someone else winning you'll be jealous and instead we should be inspired you want to learn from these people right good attracts good bad attracts bad choose which one you want why though why because it's that's all it thinks about like that's that's what we think about when we, we kind of if you think you're all good about the time, that's all we see. Like looking for good situations, you'll find good in good situations. The opposite also applies. Just make sure you're being careful with the one that you choose. There was a big time in my life when I was looking just for good things and it was great. Like, I was doing my gratitude journaling every day. That's one of the tips I'll give you in a sec. But I've been the opposite side as well. Looking for bad things, not trying to find the bad things. So being in like a negative mindset, anxious, like not too good. Like, I was just looking for like these bad things, things that could go wrong. And it starts a negative spiral, but I guess the opposite also applies. Just takes action, takes belief to get out of these situations, to change the course and to change reality too. So we need to use this to change our minds. How can we do this? Right here, positive gratitude journaling. So whether you're writing down positive things that happened today, uh, positive thoughts and feelings that you had, um, you're not ignoring the negative things. It's just that you're focusing on the good things, right? We can't shun negative emotions. That's not a healthy way to live. We want to encourage both. We want to have both here. We want to focus on the things we're grateful for. We want to think about the good in each of these things. We want to think about the silver lining on the cloud, right? Start treating other people as God's children. This is a tip I got from this book, Psycho Cybernetics. These two are just absolute bangers in just general, like, amazingness. Uh, but yeah, no, this was a really good frame. God's children, like, divine creations. Everyone's special, unique. We are all, like, individuals. Treat everyone like that not like some people are just like lesser than you it's everyone's we're all equal we're all god's children no matter what religion you believe we're not talking about god and christianity or anything like that it's just like we're all made in a divine way we're all unique we're all cool treat everyone this is like treat everyone as you'd like to be treated but you start treating other people well with welcoming heart positivity stuff like that and that will come back to you like it's just which is how it works and it's also you start to treat yourself like that so you treat other people well with compliments progress stuff like that you help people you start to help yourself as well so it's a bit of a selfish way of looking at it but it's win-win and smile this is internally or externally i do this a lot yeah like for real smile like that's like that's externally like just actually like smiling smiling just putting on a smile it's not like faking a smile i think when you actually think about it and smile you just feel better. You you do. It's not like you're not faking a smile like that. It's just like it's a smile. It's nice. Yeah, you're happy. Or internally, just feeling thinking a happy thought makes you smile, makes you laugh, something like that. All right, and that's how we start changing our minds. We start changing our minds to the good things. We can also do this for things you want to achieve. So like, oh shit, like yeah, my bicep's looking bigger today. My muscles are growing. Or shit, that video I made yesterday was really good. That's going to help my progress in my business and everything like that. Apply it to the goals that you want and the progress that you're kind of like going after. Look for the good and it will come to you, right? It's the same same as the saying I see on Instagram like a lot. Want to attract better, be better. It's where it comes from. It's very simple. On the same wavelength, frequency about things. Um, your goals are on the same wavelength as positive thinking. You must align them both to attract them both. Like, it's like I'm not entirely sure this whole like frequency waves thing, like the 
obviously like we're all like made up of particles we're all vibrating at a certain frequency uh, i'm not entirely sure like the that side of things i'm not sure if it's real i have no idea but i think you give out good vibes you get good vibes back you give out like um exciting energy and you get that kind of like back from the, from the things that you do simple it's logical and i can confirm that is true in my life <laughs> It's just what it's just what happens you also need a why all right why are you doing this so i the goal we've just spoken about my goal is I want to live the best life i can all of this stuff right here but then my why is i spent many years of my life trying to fit in and hated it i can't live like that i know i can't go back to that all right but the why it carries you from the depth it's the it's the discipline it's the everything's going shit my why is keeping me going the goal gives you direction. This is the motivation. You're doing well. And I'm like, yeah, I'm getting closer to my goal. You need both. It's a double-edged sword. You need both. And this is the law of attraction part. That is the end of the law of attraction part. Goal and a why. And think positively about them both. Step two, law of action. Do things, make systems. So this do things is step two and make systems. is like step two and a half. Yeah. For ages, I didn't take action. I was just kind of lazy, I guess. If it wasn't, if it was lazy, putting my effort into the wrong things. I'm not really sure. But I was just thinking like, oh, it's all coming to me. I can relax. It's all coming to me. And I still think like this, but I relax. No, sorry. But I take action with it. So I used to think this and not really do anything. And I guess somehow I was right because it kind of has worked. But I don't think I ever would have got it if I didn't take action. So it's, yeah, I'm not really sure. But yeah, I, I used to think this. It's a kind of good way to think. It's all coming to me relax focus on the plan but you also have to put in action do the things follow your curiosity your natural intuition and if you're not doing any of that you're actually just doing like just affirmations and stuff i don't think you're going to achieve it i'm not sure because i swapped and took action took matters into my own hands and it, and it worked i achieved it and that's what i'd recommend as well imperfect action is better than inaction like look at this this is my first youtube video of the new style you can go click my channel and see YouTube has been making for like three, four years back in the day. Um, but this is my first, like, I've, I code them NYT, so it's a new YouTube video. Look at this. Look at the difference now. Like, fucking hell. Like, hell was like all the way out here. But yeah, this was, only, this was only like 25 videos ago. And this is like me right now. Like, look at this. But this is, I was literally just chatting in my room, like, right here. Like, you can see this same background as shit. But yeah, I was just, it was just me chatting. Like, look at this right now. I've got a whole PowerPoint hitting my whole screen recording going on like better quality camera everything like this is getting better imperfect action is better than inaction i would have never have got here if I hadn't done this one hadn't started the how's going on here yes youtube video alone i want to show you the exact same thing with my videos yeah. skip the slide excuse it's just loading this is one of the first youtube shorts i made like motivational kind of gym like shorts instagram reels kind of thing i'm going to play a few right now and you'll see i hope do you can hear it as well if not then you can see the visuals as well totally important we did not come this far to just break down and lose now i'm a winner i'm going to win basic basic it's kind of boring and yeah let me show you so that was one of my first ones and this is one of my later ones sports definitely been a passion of mine for a long time training and fitness plays a big role in just the ability for me to scale and operate at a high level the stress of doing a very hard workout you start to learn you know look inside and see if i can get through this there's always that final mile i don't want to run anymore i can't be bothered that happens every single day every single minute in business if you can just stress yourself in very small amounts every single day it will compound very quickly so that one definitely has a certain style about it. It's kind of weird, but you can just see the improvements from it. The first one was like, it's like that alpha male TikTok gym thing. And it's like, it's a little bit like weird, but it's, the stuff is like really mature, really modern, really like got value to it. And it's, it's just back to this imperfect action is better than inaction. I would never have achieved this. Like if I haven't just started on those first ones, it's crazy. The difference in them, the, toxic, the filmmaking ability, the storytelling ability, it's, fuck's sake it's all there it just helps you find your path and direction just by taking action you will keep doing the things you enjoy and you pivot away from things you don't so when you take action you'll be like oh i kind of like this part but i don't really like that and all of this kind of stuff that's what i did right here i enjoyed making videos i pivoted away from like the just like fucking alpha male tiktok stuff and just like pivoted more as like real like actual like stuff that can actually help people i think not just like 
bullshit motivation kind of stuff. And yeah, it's a great way to learn about yourself, learn about who you're meant to be. I think I, I changed like through my work as well. I think it's a creative thing to journal through your work, like journal about yourself through your work. I think it's a really open and honest thing to do. I think a lot of artists do it subconsciously. And yeah, it's a great way to learn about yourself. Action must be taken. Go after life and get the things you want. Go after it. We have a short fucking life here. We only have one go in it. We have to go after life and go chase the things you want to chase. Think, have this positive mindset the whole way through. Challenges, just ways to express ourselves. Rewards will come from that great challenges. All of this, all of this really good stuff, really good way of thinking. But all the time we're taking action and learning. Unapologetically try and fail. Like the examples I showed you just before, they, when I started, people were told me they were shit. Like people told me that. Like, I wasn't going to, oh, that's fucking a typo. Anyway, I wasn't going to apologize. I knew that I had to go through this to reach where I am now. Like, you're just going to go through those stages of, of growth and improvement. And yeah, just unapologetically, like, you, just, you come out of it better anyway. So I guess it's kind of all right. Trying and failing are so important. You learn so much. I actually like, I know failing is learning. All of this stuff is cliche. And it's kind of overworked and overused. But it really fucking is. It's actually crazy. Every time I fail, lose something right now, like I start it. I'm like, okay, I'm getting these losses out of the way so I can win. One day I will tell the story. I'll be on the podcast. I'll be like famous, whatever. I'll be telling the stories of all the times I failed. I'm telling the time I've made YouTube videos for ages and didn't see any result until one blew up or I changed just pivot and style. I don't fucking know what's going to happen, but I believe that it will. And I, I try things and I fail things and I learn so much from them. And it's learned behavior. It's just, it's all learning. Let me give you an example. Throwing a ball into a bit. I want to give you a, a actual example to show you how this works. Because when I learned this, it was like, it was good to visualize it and actually understand this. First time you try and you go too far, you miss. You throw the ball, red line right here, so is the path. This right here is the bin, so is the grass. You throw a ball, you miss. You go too far. But you get the feedback, so you, you have another go. You have another go. You learn for the first time, you throw less hard and try not to overshoot. This time you miss again, just a bit short. So you took the learn behavior from before, changed your, changed your uh, outcome, changed the action, and you still felt. But some would say you improved because you got closer to the goal. Third time. You learn from the two throws and you try and throw in between. This is learning and improvements. So you see both the ones you've done before and you try and go in the middle. And you score, you win, you get it. Yeah, 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 it's simple. Three times, done. All right, that's the simple version. I know it's very, very basic. Now the reality, you're aiming for a much further target, harder one to reach with checkpoints along the way, little back, just score, and yeah, all that metaphor kind of like brain tell when he gets into real life. But it's a useful like frame to understand how learning works. It's iteration. The first time you go too far, you come back and then you keep bouncing between each one. And then so you stay in the middle and you, or just like where you get to where you want to be. What's that say? Systems built up will keep you consistently scoring. So now we're going to get onto the systems part. There is more reward on this path. Imperfect action is better than inaction as inaction gets you nowhere. Imagine right here, this little thing was, was a game. Everyone was throwing their balls at the same time. There was a line of balls and you just weren't taking any action at all. Everyone else would be like missing. Yeah, and you'd be like maybe laughing at them for failing. I remember I used to do that a lot. People would try things like, oh, you're trying. What the fuck? Like, Nick, you're trying, you're trying or something. And then they succeed and you're like, oh, well, how did, how did you do that? Can you tell me, please? Um, yeah, but you just have to try. And now, and now I get it a lot. It's the opposite way around. You regress by not trying because other people move forward and go in front. And it's not a competition. It's not about all the other people. But you do have to take action because inaction gets you nowhere. It's now time to make systems. What are systems? Daily, weekly, monthly action, even more in daily, like hourly action, all of that stuff. I'm going to get into it. Step 2.5, what is action? You do not rise to the level of your goals, but you fall to the level of your systems. This is just such a great quote. And it's so true. And that's what we're going to learn about right now. To raise the level of our systems, we're going to make systems so we don't have to fall that far before we raise them up, really raise up our systems so we achieve higher goals. <laughs> Start with daily action. Got some of you at the end of this process right now, at the end of this video, to help you build with all of this. So stick around for that. It's one, it's free, I'll give it to you, but you go away to the end of the video. Start with daily action. Identify your goals, which is the wants. So this is the this is the why, this is the goal, this is all that stuff at the start. Simple about it, for me, I'll just go with mus muscles, money simple two things 
obviously each of them go into like more detail like muscles size lean running money it's like don't just want money that want to help people with uh financial freedom all that stuff like yeah just go simple muscles money simple next go the daily action take the actions be uh more than one for like each thing and just like list them out so for the muscles i want workout nutrition recovery simple again and then for the money work creativity how we're going to get there writing plan still simple and then put these things into your day so how are these going to be like daily tasks that you can do like right here i love a whiteboard i have a whiteboard right here you can't see this it's the wrong way around i have my whiteboard right here of daily tasks and daily actions that i kind of go through it's not really kind of important what's on there because i've kind of like divide them to my goals but this is the same thing you can do for your goals again all this is in the free thing free gift i'm about to give you at the end so then you can go into detail in each more this is when you go into detail so for each task right here this is the workout one five week program days what i'm going to do right now what i'm going to write do, interrupt you right now on the day yes this is in the free one this actual workout program is here for you but that's not relevant right now so then then it's simple you just got to do the best at to you think <laughs> then you got to do the best you can at those tasks every single day like right here imagine this being so all the things you've got to do for the run deep work meal prep creative practices just do the best you can every single day at them and that's what you're going to got to do i have a fruit i have a uh, zero to 120 day plus plan of how you can develop each one of these and progressively overload them so you can keep it long term and you can get 30 days for free at the start right now at the end of this video and it's got all of these things in here it has these ones right here because we're trying to become creative athletes to develop ourselves these are generic examples for me and i know that a lot of you will sh share these same goals and i have practices methods habits everything to go with these like action daily action monthly action weekly action to kind of go with them yeah 120 days plus plans to go with them and then 30 days we can get free as well so the step three this is the outcome now the compound effect more action and more belief so it actually becomes real all of this effort will come together at one time this is where an overnight success comes from it's actually made up of many many nights many days many days days working but the more action you put in and the more belief you put in the more you get out of it live the lifestyle to achieve it's like if you want to become a runner identify as a runner live the lifestyle of a runner and you will, you will be a runner before you've kind of realized you're a runner or the same thing applies with a creative an athlete a gym person and you can mix all these things together you want to be a creative athlete you do these things that a creative athlete would do what's that work out practice creativity learn new skills all this stuff you start living the lifestyle this is where the action comes into it you start to live the outcome live the lifestyle to achieve it and at the same time you're living in it and it's like a weird little stage where you're like living the living like the outcome you haven't realized it you're in the middle of what you wanted to wish for but you literally you kind of like you think you're achieving it or you're on the way to achieving it because it's part of the process but you're already there you've got like the success and the, the fulfillment from doing it but you kind of, we haven't realized it because we're still in the process mode it's crazy it's quite an interesting bit to live in you just live like this is why you can kind of like realize that way for every day like fuck i'm where i'm exactly where i need to be i'm working every day doing the stuff i need to be doing i'm satisfied with my progress but i know i'm kind of going for more improving myself and this is the compound isn't it the compound like improving all these things it's kind of the compound graph that goes like that it starts really slow starts really slow and then starts to go up as the more time and effort and belief compounds together multiplies together and increases and goes wide but right now we're living the lifestyle well, that's the goal living the lifestyle to achieve and living the enhanced above average lifestyle will attract these things to you this links to the free stuff i've got to you at the end don't worry given that's common that's common not, not long now but yeah it's made up of action and attraction so the step one or two the law of action of attraction you won't achieve it, achieve it straight away it does take time but what, soon you'll realize you're in that lifestyle mode you're kind of getting these things you're achieving them you're keeping consistent with them and you will achieve them you'll, you'll get there you'll get those physical goals and if you believe it you can see it in your mind and you have the courage to take action through it anything is possible this is how i use this in my life i just wanted i wanted muscle to be lean this is me at the start and i just worked out i normally really have any goals this was like pre-stage one i haven't really discovered any of this kind of just like just working out no goals no nothing and then i found the little attraction did the affirmation thing i was i thought it was coming to me i was just doing the meditation practices all of that kind of stuff then got fed up as it wasn't 
I stopped the affirmations. I was like, fuck this. I'm not really making progress. This is shit. And then I took action again. And my belief stage one was reignite. I was like, oh, I'm actually going to make this. This is crazy. I had a reason to believe it. I was like, shit, this is going. This is going crazy. And then from my second to third year is when I made the most gains. So the compound effect. This is living the lifestyle, in in the lifestyle, living it every single day, rise and progress. And then this is the difference from year two to year three. Imagine this being the difference in one year, look at the face. I know I'm tired around right here, but you can see so much leaning right here. It's crazy. This is the compound interest. This is the lifestyle. The lifestyle was here. I built that lifestyle up around, around my goals where I wanted to go right here. It was, it was, I built the lifestyle for like the wrong kind of goals, the wrong purpose, the wrong outcome. As you've watched all this way, it means you're serious about this. And that's good because I have something for you, right? These two laws I've shown you today are a huge part of the natural enhancement process, living above average, getting results like you're on steroids, but without taking any, without being, with, with being natty, feeling like a superhuman, priming for progress. So you can join the natural enhancement process. This is what I'm going to give you right now. Level one, free Kickstarter. Level two, this is where you can get zero to 120 days of action and the four main core modules, which is the daily action, the body enhancer, the health enhancer, and the mind enhancer. The three main things of our life, all in like being able to enhance, but make above average. And then the daily action as well to turn it all up into one. You get just the first 30 days of this done in the free Kickstarter. Uh, you can get that for free right now. I'll show you that in a second. And then level three, you can upgrade in the future, mentorship and inner circle. It's like a community thing based around all of this, improving, growing, making the lifestyle. So choose your level today, link in the description right now. I'll show you this. This is Seth Lloyd door store. You can't see me anymore, don't worry, but it's just because I'm on the website. This is first link in the description. You click any of these buttons throughout the page, live the enhanced life, and it'll take you to this page. Choose your level. This is where you can sign up to level one, two, or three. Obviously, they level one is free literally zero pounds when you check out you'll get access to this pdf document right here you can click on this link and it'll take you to the notion page and right here i want to show you everything you get so these are the just the, this is just a free level it's like risk free just just join it see if it's something you're interested in these are the things you get this is like one tenth maybe one fifteenth of everything in in any of the paid ones so yeah it's just like a small version and right here it's a 30 day action guides and in the paid ones you get the all the west 60 90 and 120 days plus so it goes a long long way right here as well a little sneak peek sneak peek little discount code for the for the uh, upgrade one you, you get this free you get you get this in the um natural jazz one anyway so you can take action on any of that and i really do encourage it because it does just really help give you direction give you action all of this today it's got stuff you can take all of this today it's got stuff you can take action on it's really useful and even if you don't want to do that no worries, you can get the free one, no strings attached, no nothing, no problem. Thank you for watching. Recap, stage one, attraction, mindset. Stage two is action, doing things. And stage three is the outcome, living the lifestyle, achieving the things you want to achieve. I want to say thank you so much for watching, supporting this channel. And I've beat myself bigger. There we go. Nice. Yeah, no, thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed making these types of videos, helping you guys. I've learned so much during my process, just through hyper learning, being obsessed with trying to become a best version of me. And I'm trying to make these videos to in encourage and inspire change for you guys, trying to help you guys. And documenting the process right here, because right now I'm only 17 and I'm going to try and make it successful in this world. Like I said, without going to university, traveling the world, going loads of different places, doing some crazy shit, trying to become an awesome creative athlete document in the process of all of all of that so right now thank you so much for watching like subscribe comment any questions you've got join this journey and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching Whoa. bye